Hey guys, it's Ashley. So, I decided to move my desk out of the bedroom and move it to the living room. I was, my husband's on third shift right now. So, he was sleeping during the day. So, I was working in my bedroom for at least four or five hours in the dark with like a small lamp. Um, I like how I'm talking with my hands and you can't see what I'm doing. Um, it was a little small desk lamp. And it was very frustrating, and um, we have some aquariums in there for the turtles, and there was a lot of background noise, and he would snore sometimes. And So I had enough, and I moved my desk to the living room. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do this months ago. I worked all day in the light, in the sunshine, with no turtles running behind me. I can still hear the aquarium in my son's room, but it's way over there. It doesn't bother me. It's not like right beside my head. And quite frankly, I don't think my husband is showing enough gratitude for the fact that I saved his life. And I saved his life by not killing him, which I managed to do by moving my desk to the living room. <laughs> so the only day this will really affect him is Saturdays. And honestly, most Saturday mornings, he spends mowing our lawn, and then he goes over Mayor's, mows his parents' lawn, and he does projects. and So it's not going to affect him all that much. And, you know, if he has to watch TV in the bedroom, I'm fairly certain he'll survive. So, there's that. And that felt pretty good today. The other thing I did today, I woke up this morning, and I was still upset about this eating thing. And I was fighting it again and by 10 o'clock I could feel it I could feel it building and it was coming on and it was coming on and it was coming on and I was getting wound up about it and anxious and so I said look my brain and my body had a conference and they said it's gonna happen I can already tell you you're gonna overeat today the less you fight it, the easier it'll be. And so I said, okay, for today only, I won't fight it. I'll be, I'm not just going to eat whatever. I'm going to make some good choices, but I'm not going to fight whatever this is right now. So I just gave my body free reign. It's a galloping horse going down a field and Instead of trying to stop the horse when it's galloping full speed, I'm just hanging on for dear life. And you know what? It wasn't that bad. I mean, I didn't make, I didn't have like great calorie count or anything, but it was not as bad. Once I said, okay, it's going to happen and it'll be okay. Like all of the anxiousness of it, all of the pent up about it. I just sort of dissipated and I had a much better day at work than I've been having um, and I did overeat but it wasn't as severe right now there's like 10 giant chocolate cookies out in the kitchen and I have zero desire to eat them my mouth is very dry from all the sodium I've been taking in and my joints hurt really bad. My knees are just killing me. Um, and I've got some, I mean, I've got some blisters on my tongue, which happens when I take in too many processed foods. So I'm definitely feeling the consequences of this week long thing. But once I decided not to fight it, it really wasn't as bad as it has been. So, I don't really know where I'm going from here. I think it's, you know, obviously I'm not going to sit here and say, I know where I'm going and this is what I'm going to do and this is the answer and this is how it's going to work the end. Because if that's, if that's how it was going to work, I'd be done already. I'd have finished last year. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to take a few days I'm not going to purposefully overeat. That's not my plan. My plan is, however, to 
just sit down and think about what I'm feeling before, during, and after when I eat. I'm an emotional eater. I know this. Um, I'm a habit eater. I'm a grazer. I'm a, I'm bored, so let's go get something to eat. Eater. I'm a lot of these things. So I already know this is not a surprise to me. But I am going to sit down and take some time and think about how I'm feeling when I start feeling the urge build. So maybe we can come up with some answers there. Because I would like some answers. I, so, you know, my weight loss journey is not going to be as nice, clean, cut, dry, weighing on Thursdays, the end journey that I was looking for it to be. But we'll figure this out, and it'll be okay. All right. Bye.